Hi, I'm Mary Ellen Barrena, and we're going to do Manny's and Petty's at home. We're going to create a spa-like ambiance, and I want to show you how you can do it on the cheap. I have my girlfriends here today, Natalie and Val, and we're going to do our nails, but we first went shopping at the exchange, and we purchased all the little supplies that we need. Don't have to go all out and get all the most fancy things for doing a na uh, manicure at home. The exchange in the self-service area has everything that you need. Nail polish remover, cotton balls, some petroleum jelly, soap, lotion, cute little toolkit. It has all the tools that you need. Now, it's not the high-end products, but you don't always need the high-end products. The thing that you really want to add, little margaritas for your girlfriends, light the candles, put a soft light on, set the music up, and you have a nice day. Okay, why don't we first make sure we have our, our nail polish off. Um, now, you know what, this is one thing I purchase, I just love. It's one of these bottles, you can get it at a um, beauty supply store. It's great, you just squeeze the liquid comes up. That's one of the extra things I bought that I do use. And then after we do this, we put Vaseline around your cuticles and that's to help soften them when they're in the water. Uh, and then we soak our nails. So good. The Epsom salts really help soften your skin. It's great to take a whole bath in Epsom salts, you need to throw about a cup mm -hmm. in. Um, for this, you only mm -hmm. need to do a couple tablespoons, along with whatever favorite soap is. Okay, so after we soak, how does that feel, Val? It actually is feeling really great with the... Uh, yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. The Vaseline, yeah. it really yeah. helps to soften. The thing about your cuticles is that's really the bed of your nail. And in order to keep it healthy, you want to make sure it's pushed back. As you use the towel, push back on your cuticle and every time you wash your hands when you get out of the shower, get out of the bath, finish washing dishes, push your cuticle back. After this, before putting on your polish, we also want to file our nails. You want to file your nails when they're soft because otherwise you can really tear up the nail. After that, you want to take the cuticle Stick. This is an orange wood stick. It's, it's very hard wood, and that's why they use it for manicures. To soften it, if you are doing a child's nails, sometimes they don't like the, the feel of the orange stick, you can take a little bit of the cotton ball off. I'm sure you've seen nail technicians do that, and you can push back. And then after that, because you still do have the petroleum jelly on your nails, I soak again. So a lot of times after I've dried my nails the second time, I use a little bit more of the nail polish remover and make sure that the nail is totally dry. If you have ridges, if you have different marks in your skin, I have a nail that splits, sometimes it's really important to go to a nail technician because they're trained in diseases that affect the nail. They're trained in nutritional deficiencies that you need to know about. One stroke in the center of your nail, then do one side and then the other side, and that's your first coat. And you want to carry, make sure you carry the brush all the way through to the tip. And then, of course, there's a, we always have to wait, but this is the time to have a little wine and cheese as we let our nails dry. Let's see yours. Oh, Natalie. It really <laughs> look how out nice well. your nails yeah. look. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Thanks. Thanks for all your tips. The last thing after our nails are dry, you want to put a good lotion on them. And you can just squeeze some out. And um, one thing that's really nice when you have girlfriends doing your nails together, your friends can do a little massage on you. Of course you know, you have to do mine too. <laughs> it's 
so it really feels like a spa. Yeah.